Hi everyone, welcome back to Stationeers Europa, Season 1, this is Episode 32. Now, oh, corn is growing. A lot has happened since uh, the last episode. I mean, I haven't built anything, but uh, I did a bunch of housekeeping duties. I got all the soy I wanted, and then I thought, look, I want more pumpkin seeds, and I want a bit more corn seeds. So I grew some pumpkins and corn, and uh, they're currently growing right now. Uh, other things I did... Uh, I want these to be on, because I'm going to be retiring my greenhouse very soon. Um, other things I did was, uh, there was a storm while I was inside. In fact, straight after I ended the last episode, a storm hit almost immediately. Um, I, did, I, I decided to just ride it out, and then I went outside and duct taped the, uh, the solar panels. So they're all duct taped. How is this health down on this one? I just duct taped them all. Honestly, I don't know why they take damage randomly sometimes. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, you can sort of see I've got, uh, what, 193 soy. I also got a few more fern seeds, so I end up with a ton of ferns as well. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to clear this machine of uh, all the unnecessary stuff. I've got 30 eggs in there. I want to use two of the eggs to make pumpkin pies, because I've never done that before. And the 32 potatoes are all going to be turned into french fries. So um, I'm going to need soy oil, 160 of it. I'm also going to need some milk. And I'm going to need to chuck these pumpkins in here. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, okay, so soybeans. That's good. That's good. Um, I, I kind of want... What am I going to do? Split half, split half. Chuck 24 back in. I, I, want, 100, I want 65 because I'm going to need five of them to make milk. So, yeah. And we'll, we'll keep that five separate. Like this. There we go. And uh, we're going to need five ferns to make milk as well. Oh god, these ferns are dying. Yeah, and we're also going to need to make some some flour. I think we need 40 wheat for what I want to do. Okay, we're going to move these down here for now. But uh, yeah, um, some of these foods are a bit dodgy on the decay side. I managed to get... All my chickens are dead. <laughs> I managed to get nine fertilized eggs from the chickens before they all died. Okay, let's just go up. I was going to do this off screen as well, but I thought people might be interested to see see a bit of cooking going on. Uh, we want this turned on. We want the soy oil. Let's, oh, whoops. Let's make the milk first. So we need to put five soybeans in. That'll give us five mil of soy oil. Now, one thing I've noticed, the sound effect is kind of irrelevant. It's all to do with that that light there and uh, you'll see when I do the bigger batches of soy oil there we go five mil of oil five mil of ferns five grams of ferns will produce milk I think that's the minimum I'm, fa I'm sure that's the minimum and uh, yeah here we go we now have a hundred mil of milk which is actually too much milk I only want 20 mil um, okay we want to make some flour as well so we'll uh, we'll chuck this in here, and we'll turn this on. See the sound effect stops, but the light's still on. It's only when the light goes off, when the when it switches itself off, that it's done. And you you should see that like quite a lot when I do the soybeans. So 60 soybeans. We're making soil. The sound has stopped, but the light is still on. So it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Now it's ready. So you just got to watch that when you're cooking. And uh, it's even more crazy when you put 100 in at a time. The 160 oil is for the French fries. This isn't done yet. And the milk and the flour is for the pumpkin pie. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need to drink a lot of that milk just so I can get it down to 20 mil. Okay, this is done. Cool. Fantastic. And, um, and yeah, well, no, we don't want to go there. We want to go to six. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, we'll chuck this in here. We'll chuck that in there. We'll chuck that in there. Now, um, we have excess eggs, so we're going to make seven powdered eggs. It goes with those three, giving us ten. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that right now. Let's go powdered eggs. The milk, well, we can go and uh, we can go drink the milk. 26 degrees, it's fine for me to do this. 
Um, as you can see, I can drink little bits at a time. I want to get this down to exactly 20 mil. So I, it's going to take me a while before I'm, I'm ready to do that. Let's get some water. Oh yeah, that water bottle's empty. This water bottle... Um, this uh, thing is almost out of water, which is kind of what I was aiming for. I want to suck that dry using the water bottles. And then move the water bottle filler downstairs. And my entire eating station will be downstairs, not upstairs. There we go. Now, I have a plan here. I've currently got almost all the ingredients for pumpkin pie. As you can see, I need um, eight more pumpkins, which are upstairs and probably ready, and 20 mil of milk, and then I can make two pumpkin pies. And the other thing I want to do is make a bunch of French fries, uh, 32 of them. I'm not going to do that yet. I've made the powdered eggs, haven't I? So, yeah, that's, that's everything. I just need to get eight pumpkins in there, and I need to get that milk down to 20 mil. Um, now, I'm not going to start banging off all the French fries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this machine, move this machine to its correct location, and then once in the, it's in the location I want it to be in, then I'm going to then I'm going to stick the French fries in. I'm going to cook all the French fries and chuck them back straight in the machine, and the machine could just store them. So for now, I need what um, six, uh, nine cans plus six is fifteen plus two, seventeen cans, I think. Nine plus two is eleven plus six is seventeen cans. So let's go and do that now. This way, I'm not wasting anything. Well, I am wasting seventeen steel, I guess making cans. So, so let's make 17 cans. I'm going to have so much food. I honestly never need to run my greenhouse again with the amount of food I'm producing. Most people would have just wasted the food and said, ah, who cares, and just dumped it out of the machines and, you know, hurled it into the abyss. I can't, I can't have more than 10 cans in a stack. I tested that. Four, five, six, one more, seven, there we go. It's probably a gross waste of steel, but eh. Chuck this in here, chuck this in here, and I should be able to completely empty this uh, this machine now. So we got nine tomato soups. While that's producing nine tomato soups, we'll go up and get those pumpkins, and we'll empty our greenhouse. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it, are these machines on? I think they were. This, I left that on. Yeah, that's good. I can uh, empty the greenhouse and just retire the greenhouse for the time being. Uh, I think the next thing I'll use my greenhouse for is probably biofuel. Just grow a, a ton of ferns or something and then just intentionally rot it. Uh, let's do our little battery trick. So one of the advantages of having a a battery charger in an airlock is it gives you something to do. What else could I be doing while I'm in an airlock? That's, that's what I want to know. Maybe I should make like a, a large airlock. Like make two by one airlocks. They take longer but I could stick a machine in there like an auto lathe and just churn out walls or something while I'm waiting for the airlock. I don't know. So, something like that. Let's uh, switch that one with that one. Let's go collect all our pumpkins. And our corn of course. Okay, good. Okay, this greenhouse is got nothing in it. Time to retire it. Let's turn all the grow lights off. And let's, yep, suck out all these gases. And we'll just evacuate it completely. Get all those gases, all that CO2 back into my tank. Let's just depressurize this. Oh, this one's ready. Well, we can. Oh god, why does it do that? Why? There's no reason for it. Honestly. The game is still a bit buggy. It is an alpha game. I mean, I guess you need to expect this sort of thing. It did it, did it again. It did it again. It shouldn't do that. Like, if it's hovering green, it should be fine. I'm hoping the developers work on that a little bit and make it so, you know, you don't drop tools all over the place and drop batteries down and things like that. 
So how are we going for corn? Corn. I got a lot of I got twelve corn. I could make a bit of corn soup with that if I wanted to. So we're gonna um, start storing up this tomato soup. This will get transported downstairs, I think. I have a cupboard full of food down there. There's one tomato soup can in the oh yeah, I got it sitting in the entrance way there. Um yeah, look at all that tomato soup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought I made nine. What happened to the, the last one? Is it in the machine somewhere? Did it roll behind? I'm sure I saw 45 tomatoes there. Um, there's a tomato soup missing. I'm sure there is. Because remember I put... 17 empty cans. There's nine. I should have nine tomato soups. Am I blind? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One tomato soup is missing. Where is the missing tomato soup? Did it somehow get jumped into here? No, it, it's stuck in like under the machine or something. Or it quantum teleported down onto the next floor. Let's have a look down here. It could be outside for all I know. It's most likely stuck inside the machine. Oh yeah, what else do I want to make? Two powdered eggs and six french fries. So let's let's make the canned powdered eggs. Maybe it's like stuck in here somewhere. When this opens, maybe I can grab the tomato soup really quick. Yeah, there it is, see? Oh god, okay. It's in there, that's where I gotta grab. Okay, let's make some canned french fries, and then this machine will be completely empty. I'm going to try and grab this thing. Ah! Damn! I keep missing it. Damn! What if I'm really quick? What if I click E click? Oh, gosh. Okay, that's not the definition of click, uh, of quick. Oh! No, it's in the machine. I I've got to get it out. Hey, hey, canned french fries. Look at this. So much food. I'm never going to have to worry about food again. To think there was so much hassle at the start of the game trying to get food up and running. And now look at me. It's crazy. Anyway, this machine's emptied. I can go and rip this thing up now. And um, where's my, my drill, I guess? Oh, yeah, the canned soup popped out. Yeah, you um, hop there. Look at all of it. It's crazy. Um, that's right. I need, I need to drink more milk. Anyway, angle grinder. Okay, and what do we need? A wrench. And there we go, we got this machine. Now I want to put this machine on floor 4, I believe. Floor 4 is the place to be. And this is going to be my new new food floor. I might do something similar. I might have it here. i got to bring my fridge down here as well. All this has to be moved. My seed cupboard, I don't know where I'm moving it to. I don't know, I, I, might, I might put a cupboard inside the greenhouse, maybe. If there's room. I don't know if there's room. Oh, outside the greenhouse, maybe. That might be the place to put it. Um, I need to experiment with that. Now, obviously, I can't I can't put this machine down yet because I, I need to get a frame underneath. So on the floor directly under this one, I need to stick a frame and then wire it up. I'll probably have it here, I think. So um, I'm probably going to need to stick frames there and there. This uh, recycler is getting ripped up as well and uh, put somewhere else. I don't know where... I gotta, I gotta find a place for it. Um, let's, let's do this. Let's see if we can find a good place for this thing to go. Uh, one thing I've been forgetting to do is H2 combusting. I think I did a little bit of H2 combusting. Yeah, I did. Yeah, no, yeah, I emptied my H2 combustor. As you can see, running this does nothing. Yeah, so there's no water in my H2 combustor. That's another thing I did whilst between episodes. Yeah was uh, I emptied my H2 combustor completely. 
I've got some gas in there, but it's I, I don't want to suck that into into here. Uh, I need to get more hydrogen sorted out, but I'm not going to do that for a long time until I get an ice crusher in place. Now, um, I, I need to stick frames here and here. How do I stick a frame here? I, I'm going to need to put a wall underneath here. Because that remember, my gas mixer is below here. So that's something i got to do. Let's, um, before I do that, let's get this cupboard out of my hand. This uh, locker, these kit lockers. Uh, I want to find a good place near my greenhouse to put it. Something where it's not in the way. Um, you know, if, if I put it like right here somewhere, it's blocking the entrance way, the door. I'm going to need to get a frame under here. Um, if I put it there, it's blocking the door. It's a bit of a pain. Inside my greenhouse, maybe? Can I put it up against that wall? Let's, um, I, I want to go in there anyway to turn this thing off. While I'm in this airlock, of course, we'll do the same thing as always. Come on, there we go. Oh, this, this is not going to work, because, yeah, we'll just do that. We'll get our tablet out, we'll see. Do we have a pure vacuum? Yeah, it's all completely evacuated. Pure vacuum in this room. So, uh, yeah, here's the problem. Where do I put my locker? You know, I, I, could, I could put it up here against this wall. If I do, I'm going to need to move this and this. Um... The gas sensor probably wants to be on the other side. Um, you remember how I ran that green cable along here to connect to the greenhouse? Maybe if I just put the gas sensor like on this wall here. I don't know. I like to have the gas sensor on the same wall as this. Maybe I move the heater somewhere else. Uh, it turns out the heater wasn't. The, the greenhouse was slowly heating up, so the heater wasn't needed. But yeah, if I move this over to here and the sensor like up there or something and I move the heater somewhere else like on the other side of this wall here or something so I, I plonk the other side of this wall in and stick it there maybe maybe that'll work maybe I can then stick a cupboard there do you think that's gonna block me it it should be okay I don't know maybe I just stick the cupboard somewhere else but anyway I'm done with this greenhouse I can uh, retire it Cancel, depressurize. Oh gosh, click bug. I should do this. Yeah. My waste tank is almost full. I should empty that. Um, but yeah, I don't know where to put that locker. I'm going to have to think of something. I don't think it fits up here. Um... I don't really want to put it on my atmospherics floor. Although these machines are getting moved downstairs. Maybe maybe I do just stick it like in this corner here. Where, where does that connect to? Why have I got a bit of cable there? Okay, I'm getting rid of this. I don't, I don't know why this even exists, but it's gone. So uh, these machines are getting moved downstairs. To um, I could do that now. I know a little shortcut. I don't need to pull all those machines up. I can just boop and boop. There we go. And then I can just pick them all up afterwards. We're making a bit of progress. And yeah, locker right there. This is a problem. I need to... I need to stick a frame underneath there. This is a big problem with moving stuff is uh, frames. And this is going to be my furnace room. And this here is going to be my cooking room. Yeah, okay, so what we'll do is we'll chuck these here and here and here and the kit tables and the advanced packaging machine. Ah, I shouldn't have ripped up that cupboard. Oh, whoops, that's the tables. I shouldn't have ripped up that cupboard, although I, I wasn't sure what I was doing at the time. I can see the cupboard on this thing here if I wanted to. Um, kind of silly looking, but uh, that will allow me to... Um, to store stuff while I figure out how to do everything else. I think, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just put them all here. Okay, so I got to get frames under here now. So floor three has to be covered in frames. That's going to be interesting. This recycler, I might stick that on floor one since I'm heading there anyway. Um... 
yeah so I got to frame all this up before I can stick frames all in amongst here I can on most of these floors I just can't do it there I have to get outside go outside and stick a wall on the underside of this okay so frames walls plastic recycler you can go there that's my arc furnace furnace door yeah um, we'll just use iron frames for now and we want a kit wall we only need one get rid of these tools for now and we need two plastic oh whoops oopsies doesn't matter doesn't matter let's go let's go outside oh I'm dying of thirst I should be drinking I'll do it when I get back in So much hassle just to reorganize my base. So much easier if you're building horizontally rather than vertically. Horizontal, you just rip stuff up and put stuff down. With vertical, you uh, you have to go to great lengths to do anything. So yeah, that's what I want a wall right there. And we want a wall and we want it on the ceiling. Yeah, like this. And now it's safe for me to rip up that wall, stick a frame there. I can frame up that entire room and then I can build machines on top of those frames. Uh, while I'm out here, I might as well do a few few things. One thing I'd love to know is uh, how much water do I have in my water tank? Almost 2,000 moles. Plus, in this pipe here, I've got another 627. Yeah, so I've got like 2,600 moles of water. I'm fine for water. Water's good. Water's good. I'll rip up those oxides once I have my advanced furnace. Um, ready because remember I'm going to use oxides to um, to fill the pressure up in the furnace to make waspaloi. I don't need much waspaloi, just like eight grams of it, and then I can make. Uh, I think it helps me make the hard suit jetpack, and then I I can have a lot more inventory space rather than having a basic jetpack. Remember I'm committed to every episode drilling away a little bit of this dirt. Just, uh, just a tiny bit every episode. So this is my tiny contribution this time. Cool. Just, um, I just want to flatten all this out. All very good. Just um, just to keep as much flat space in front of my doorway as possible. The terrain's not updating, so now I'm just running around randomly attacking unupdated terrain. I don't want that there. Oh, that one's updating. Oh, good. That'll do. There's my contribution for this episode. I'm just getting rid of that because that looks really ugly. All right. Let's get back inside. Um, uh, my propellant could probably use a bit of work. Ah, let. Ah, uh, no. I'll get rid of that next time. Um, let's turn this on. My propellant's at 7,000. Getting it to 9,500 is nice. Take a few seconds. There we go. Um, I'm going to check what's in here. A 27 megapascal still. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. All good. I don't need to run that active vent. I won't need to run it for a long time. <clears throat> Let's drink. Let's eat and drink. Um, floor one, it was floor three that I wanted to place frames on, wasn't it? So, um, we can now rip this up. I hope. <laughs> Always very nervous when I do stuff like that. But pretty sure I got that right. Okay. Good. And now we can go about filling this whole room with frames. Frame. Fra Whoa, I can't put a frame here. Oh, there's a, there's walls here. I put. I remember I put walls all along here so I can 
support these monitors and these levers and things. I, I don't. It won't fall off if I rip those up. I'll put them back later. Okay, so we got a frame there, frame here, frame there, frame here, frame there, frame there, frame there. Frame there. there we go. Good. And now floor four, I can build machines on now. I can stick this uh, packaging machine down wherever I want. So, you know, we can put it here, sort of mirror the, the previous setup I had. We can um, get our welder, our arc welder, and our screwdriver. There we go, packaging machine moved. I just need to find a way to cable this thing up. Um, these cables are going to be in the way. I really need to go downstairs and rip up all these cables and uh, reattach the logic in a different way. I probably need to move all the logic down um, before I get the rest of my machines in place. So i got to think about that. This cupboard's going to be moved, so all these seeds need to be moved somewhere else. That was what this cupboard was for, but I don't know where to put it. So uh, a bit to do there, a bit to figure out. Uh, for now, let's just eat and drink. 26 degrees in this space. It's lovely temperature. It's not really changing, is it? I know I don't want to flush. I want to unlock and open my helmet. Okay, good. And let's get... Um, we can't drink that. Let's drink all this. Fantastic. Oops. And now we'll drink some milk. Remember, we're trying to get it to 20 mil. Yeah, nowhere near yet. A few, few more meals and I'll be, I'll be close. Close helmet, lock helmet. Once we've drunk it all, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll not drunk it all, drunk it down to 20 mils. We'll make our two pumpkin pies. We'll make our, um, I'll make it 21 mil just to be safe. Uh, yeah, I'll make our two pumpkin pies. We'll make all those French fries. Well, actually, we can make all those French fries now because that packing ma packaging machine is uh, is ready. Well, it's not quite ready. If I um, if I rip up the frames, the packaging machine will drop to the ground. I need to stick wires in there. So um, that, that's that's a bit tricky. How how do I how do I wire this machine up? I can't actually see the the wire at place. I don't I don't want to connect it to the. Oh, actually. This, this line here is fine to connect to. I, I kind of want to rip that up. But uh, what's going to happen is these things here are all going to be in the way. And I'm thinking just moving all the logic down one space will actually will actually help. So that's a big task, but uh, there's no time like the present. Let's, uh, let's get these out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. I know I just put them there, but uh, we'll put them back later. All this logic is getting ripped up and put back again, uh, which means I need to reset and set it all again. But uh, let, let's just do it. Let's just get it done. Uh, the, the, my worry is this wiring is going to get in the way of stuff. In fact, I don't want this battery powering my H2 combustor anymore. In fact, this battery can be powering my cooking machines. My H2 combustor should be powered from the downstairs, one of the downstairs batteries. I think that's that's the way to do it. So, yeah. All this hard work undone because I wasn't thinking ahead. I should I should have been. I should have thought to myself, this floor is going to have a lot of stuff on it at some point, and these wires are going to be in the way. So a big bit of a boo boo on my part. Um, Causing, creating more work for myself than, than necessary. Um, yeah. Okay, so we want um, logic reader, logic writer. Like that. Yeah, that should be fine. And a logic writer there and logic reader there, and we'll stick another logic reader here, and a logic writer there. So reader, 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 writer, writer, writer. Good. This will be fairly quick. Fairly quick job. I hope. I know, I always think it's going to be quick, but uh, often it's not. Let's use the bottom line as our 
connect line this time and yeah and this, this cable here is going to go down along here and it's going to connect that's right down like that and uh, I gotta I gotta figure that out at some point um, okay Oh, whoops, that would have done. Oh, that would have done as well. Um, oh, we need this to connect. Okay, we'll, we'll do the bottom line. And, whoops. Okay, all three holes connected. Let's uh, try and, we'll connect it up to here. That's good, that's good. Um, what's the best way to do this? like this. Ah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Sometimes it's easier just to do that. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, this is not connected. Uh, that is connected. Okay, i got to connect that one up there. Um, this top one is going to connect like this, I think. And we'll just do this. Yeah. And we'll just run this one down. Oh, whoops, that would have done. Okay, how does that look? All three holes connected, all three holes connected. All three, all three, all three, all three. And there, and these won't work, I don't think, because uh, they're not connected to a battery anywhere. So none of these machines or devices will work. I have to actually go outside and, and connect it all. Um, I don't need these walls right now. I might actually, yeah, um, I can put all this in place again, all these things. I actually made a profit of cables then. Okay, now I can put machines there and that doesn't, that logic doesn't uh, interfere. As for this logic here, I, I don't know. I don't know where that goes. That's my problem. Um, I, yeah. Okay, if I just connect... How do, how do I do this? I want this battery to connect to that machine. I, I probably want to connect it along this line here. It'll do. Like this. Okay, and that's data. So now I should be able to rip this frame up and that machine will not drop to the ground. So uh, let's just test this out very quickly. Now I don't think there's going to be any machines on this square, so I can rip this one up straight away. I don't need it. But uh, yeah, looking looking good. I'll probably end up reorganizing this room anyway, trying to fit all the machines in. But uh, yeah, okay, that's connected. And this thing should be actually powered. I should be able to turn that off and on right now because that battery um, is running. So yeah, good. Now we have to go and figure out how to reconnect up our H2 combustor. So much messing around. I'm just going to put these walls back for now. Uh, I'll put the frames as well back. We made a profit of walls. Um, okay, first we have to start in here. This cable here is going to run up the wall. Yeah, I think it runs up that line, doesn't it? So this is a little bit tricky. But this cable here is going to run up this wall. I can go and turn this battery on. Yeah, look, it's got a lot of juice now. They both do, which is good. Um, so this is going to run up the wall like this. So let's try and figure this out. That's a console monitor. That connects to the top. But if you remember, those cables were side by side. So I should be able to just 
run this up like this and go to floor one. We should see it. Yep, good. Didn't need to go outside. And this is my H2 combustor line. And let's just do this. I don't know if straight up is correct. Let's um, just do this. There we go. And my H2 combustor controls should all work now. And there's only one way to find out. Let's go and uh, turn some stuff on and see if it works. Um, yep, they, they all work. Monitors work. These things should work on. Yep, but it's flashing me an error. I need my renaming tool. I can't reset this up until I have my renaming tool. Because I need to know which thing does what. I should have think thinking ahead. I should have thought about that. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look like we're making progress on our base, but we actually are. We're doing a lot. We're making a lot of progress. Um, before I rename all that, I have a task that could be performed in the background. I, I've got to try and do that more multitask to save time. Uh, remember, I want to make a ton of french fries. So uh, let's actually do that. Yeah. And while that's building endless french fries, we'll go and rename all our all our chips and get our H2 combustor chamber set back up again. Um, okay, so this will be the intake. Okay, so H2, oh, H at, <laughs> H2 combustor intake. That'll do. Uh, no, let's control C. There we go. Confirm. Um, let's actually call it Logic Reader H2 Combustor Intake. Confirm. And this will be a Logic Writer H2 Combustor Outtake. I just don't want to type Combustor in over and over again. Outtake. There we go. Capital T. Cool. And we'll make this a capital T as well. Okay. Um, so that's our intake. So we're going to have the intake switch, which is that one there. The intake lever It's going to be for the intake reader. Yeah. Intake. Uh, and this is the H2 combustor outtake. Not outtake, this is intake. What am I doing? Ah, I'm, I'm actually very tired, if you're wondering. I'm making a few mistakes. Did I do that right? Intake, intake. And this is going to be the outtake. So logic reader, control V. Oh, whoops. Ah. I'm very tired. Okay, let's just concentrate. Try not to make any more mistakes. It's going to be outtake, and this is going to be the logic writer H2 combustor outtake. Um, and this is the logic reader. H2 combustor and the logic writer H2 combustor. Okay, there we go. We know what they're all doing now. We know all these chips. We can uh, we can go and uh, and set them. So this is the intake. So we want the intake lever. The where is it? H2 combustor outtake vent. No, we don't want that. H2 combustor lever. H2 combustor. The gas outtake lever. This is intake, isn't it? Gas mixer. Gas intake lever. And we want the variable to be um, open. So when this is open, something's going to happen. Now the input is going to be the logic reader. H2 combustor intake. This one. Is that another storm? I just had a storm. Oh my god, no. What? 
That's nuts. I've had two storms in in less than an hour. Okay, logic reader intake. The uh, output is going to be the outtake vent. Oh, whoa, the intake vent. Yeah, this is the intake. So this goes the intake vent, and the output variable is going to be on. Not open, on. There we go, we can turn that on. So now the intake lever will turn on the intake vent. Okay, we've got that part sorted out. I'm going to do the rest of this in a short while. Let's, um, let's go and deal with those french fries. We need to make a lot more duct tape. I, 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 can't, I can't believe that I've had a storm that early. They seem to be just coming quicker and quicker. Maybe that's part of the game. Maybe eventually you're just in a storm permanently. I don't know. I, just, I, mean, it's, I think it's just random chance. I've just been unlucky in this run that I've just had so many storms in quick succession. Remember at the start of the game, it took a long time for that first storm to hit. Uh, oh, I'm about to pick up a lot of french fries, so... Let's, let's stop this. I know it's not going to be enough duct tape, but uh, yeah, let's get a floor six. This has produced a ton of french fries. There's no more potatoes left. These french fries are rotting, so i got to do something with that. I can actually repair these from the inside. They're slightly damaged, not much. There we go. Um, yeah, french fries, french fries. Okay, let's stick all the duct tape in here. Let's start transporting french fries. I didn't actually mean to put it there. I'm going to drink a bit more milk in a moment, but uh, there's no rush on that. Okay, french fries. Let's, let's transport all these over to my new packaging machine. There should be 32 of them. There's six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Computer's starting to get a bit laggy. Three, four, five, six. This is actually harder than it looks because of the, uh, the choppiness of the play. It's quite a bit of input lag here. Well, there's 10 done. Let's get 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many was it? 32? It's a lot of french fries. Ah, lag and chop is making it hard for me to do this. Just get as close to this as I can. Well, there's 20. <laughs> One, two, there should be two more on the ground at the end when I'm finished. Unless some quantum tunneled outside, in which case they're dead. <laughs> no, exactly two more. I've got nowhere to fit them, so I have to just come back up. I want to get back to duct taping stuff from the inside. I'm terrified of losing another solar panel to a storm. Because as you saw before, those solar panels are just taking random amounts of damage for some reason. That's 30. Two more. I just need to um, make the pumpkin pie now, and then I'm actually... I can, I, can MD, I can move that machine as well. And we have 32 french fries in there. If I had 32 cans, I could, you know... 
I could make 32 canned french fries. <laughs> so much food. Okay, so let's get all this stuff back again. Power low. Power low. Okay, I'll deal with that very soon. Let's get that there. We'll grab this thing back again. Uh, we can just trade it for this one here. There we go. Now, I can't get to floor 7, unfortunately. I can repair stuff on this floor, though. Let's have a look. Just, uh, just terrified that solar panels are going to be destroyed. I, uh, after that solar panel died to one individual storm, I'm kind of paranoid now. Thank you. Let's um, get around these machines. Oh, these machines can be turned off now. God, this one's really damaged. Wow. Okay, we'll turn these off. We don't need those on. Let's go to floor 9. This greenhouse is being decommissioned. I should have brought my data disk with me. Okay. We'll just hope that the solar panels behind the greenhouse don't die. Oh, and there's no solar panels up here. Unless they've all been destroyed. Um, okay, I'm just waiting for the storm to end, I guess. Um, oh, let's go back up. Ah. I'm just going to eat and drink really quickly. Mainly I want to eat. 26 degrees in here still. This base is not moving in temperature. This is great. Okay, so we want to get to 20 mil. Or 21 mil. Something like that. We're, we're getting close. Look, 44 mil. That's pretty good. Let's grab some more water. We don't need much. Oh, we're not going to get much. This is done. That's actually really good. I can... I can now rip up all the water stuff now. Water bottle filler. I'm going downstairs anyway, so let's um let's go move. Oh, where am I going to move them to? No, oh wait. Oh, why did it do that? Come on, game. That storm's over. Storm's over. I can go duct tape. Let's see if anything died. But uh, before we do, let's um, build a bit more duct tape. Have uh, four more rolls. One more. And we're at the almost the 48 minute mark on this episode. It's actually time to end the episode, but um, we'll, we'll go check the solar panels out first, see if they're in any danger. Next episode, I'll go back to renaming the, the logic on my um, H2 combustor setup. And uh, and yeah, next episode, we should also probably get that milk down to 20 whatever, and we should be able to set up our cooking room. And then I can start working on atmospherics. I mean, I already have the tanks, I think. Did I make the tanks? Yeah, I did. That's why I needed to go with silicon mining. Okay, did we lose any? You didn't lose any of these, you lose any of the important ones. Nope. Okay, we're all good. The sun's a while away from from rising, so we got a bit of time up our sleeve. We can uh, go and duct tape all these. Um, I might actually call the episode here. You don't need to see me duct taping solar panels. It's stuff. stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, finish duct taping all these solar panels. I'm just getting these front ones first. 85%. I'm going to finish duct taping all these solar panels and then I'm going to uh, restart the next episode after that. Um, okay, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're still tuning in and, and watching the series. I know there hasn't been big changes to my base uh, recently because uh, I've, I've had to... I don't know. I think it's interesting to watch me... watch all the, the craziness I have to go through just to expand the base or just to restructure it slightly. Uh, what makes this run interesting is the 3x3 three three rule. So um, hopefully we're going to make some real progress in the next two episodes or so. So uh, everyone, thanks for watching and um, yeah, bye for now.